All right, guys, the new cam is in. Yes, we finally got the new cam in. Now, I'm going to explain to you why I got this cam over the other cam that I was really expecting to get. And here's the cam that I got. What is going on everybody today? I'm going to be unboxing the new cam I have for this truck. And before we get started on the video, I had to turn the camera because the sun is all up in my eyes. Yes, please pick up your Ram merchandise, help support the channel. Now let's get started on the video. Yes, we finally got the new cam in. Now, I'm gonna to explain to you why I got this cam over the other cam that I was really expecting to get. And here's the cam that I got. I went with the green racing, Stage 2 high lift V2 thump camshaft and also it also came with this. This is the uh, Phase limiter for the bigger cams now my current cam did not need this This one will Now I want the stage 2 high lift V2 And I'm gonna explain to you why I went with the stage 2 over the one that I was originally going to go to go with which was the 2.5 And I'll explain that to you in a minute all right, guys, what is going on? As you can see, I went with the Green Racing Stage 2 high lift V2 thump camshaft. It's a 213 over a 226. Now, the current camshaft I have in this truck is the, is the Green Racing Stage 2 0.5 V2 high lift camshaft. That's a 205 over a uh, da, uh, 222. Now, as, as you can tell, like, I'm not big on the specs. I don't know much about cams and how they work, but from what I'm telling you know, this is a much bigger camshaft. Now, originally, when I first posted a video months ago, eh, a couple months ago, maybe in October, maybe September, I can't remember exactly when I posted, I said I knew the cam I was getting and I was going to get this cam. I was at, this one is actually the one I went with. There's a reason I went with it, and I'm going to tell you right now. I went with it because this one is made for ported heads. And the stage two, all the stage, all the green racings, like zero, one, two, and the new one that uh, I don't even think he's, you know, only one person has is the stage three, are all made for max effort with ported heads. Now the point fives, like the point five, the 1.5, 2.5, and you know, these are all the high lift premium camshaft kits. They are all made for max effort with stock heads. So I wanted to get the 2.5. I didn't plan on doing the ported heads because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Sorry, guys. The sun's coming in now. So I thought about it for a while. I'm like, if I'm going to take out the cam again and the heads, why don't I just get the ported heads done? Talk to Jay. And he was like, you know, he's like, why don't we go with this? And I'm like, yeah, there's a really worth it to get the heads ported, stuff like that. It's a lot of money to get heads ported. And I didn't want to spend, you know, two grand, thousand dollars, two grand for something that may not be worth it. I know the cam's worth it. The cam is easily worth it. He told me that the stage 2.5, I could easily pick up two and a half. Uh, not two and a half, sorry. He said two tenths. It keeps two and a half is 2.5. He told me two tenths. So I'm thinking, yo, this is the same cam. It's the same. Basically, the stage 2 and the 2.5 are almost the same cam, except one's made for ported heads. One is made for stock heads, so one is a little, I guess, has a little more uh, overlap, I guess you want to call it, if that's how it's, if I'm pronouncing that right for cam guys that know specs. But the one I, yes, so I'm getting ported heads on this truck. That is the plan. And I have all the money to do the ported heads right now. The cam is in. I just have to, the only thing I have to do is with the, my ported heads, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not buying a set of ported heads and then sending my stock ones back. Reason being, I don't have an extra two grand to fork up for a uh, core charge on ported heads. So I already talked to Steve. Steve said, look, we're gonna do this. We're gonna have to pull your heads. So Steve is gonna do this for me. And this was this is awesome of him. He's gonna come here and do the install at my house. He's gonna do it in the garage. If it's cold, I'll heat it up for him. I'll get the truck in the garage. It's a tight fit, but we can, it's been done before. I can make it happen and we'll make him, you know, make it for him. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna do everything. He's gonna pull, he's gonna do the cam install and everything on there, but he's not gonna put the heads back on. What he's going to do is when the heads are pulled, I'm going to take them to a place called Fonts Performance. They're not far from here. I talked to the guy a couple of weeks ago. I mean, you know what I mean about ported heads and pricing and this and that. And we came through a great, you know, a great conversation. And he, we're going to max the, max the heads out for a much better price than what I can get. 
almost uh, anywhere else and stuff like that. He knew about Hemi heads. He knows how they flow. He knows everything about it. They have a flow bench. They do very good CNC work, block work, everything. They do all that in-house. They have, they know what they're doing, so I trust them. So I talked to that guy. I got to get back in touch with him and let him know, look, this you know plan's going good. But once Steve decides that whatever we're going to do this cam swap, we're going to pick the heads, pull them. I'm going to take them over to the guy, take them over to Fonts. They're going to port them. Down, the downfall may be a week or so. I, I don't remember exactly. I'm going to pull them back here. Steve's going to come back, put them on. Bing, bang, boom, bam. Cam and port the heads will be on. Now, if you thought my truck was loud last time, it's going to be louder now. It's going to thump finally. I'm going to have that chop that chop that people are. So why don't you have a choppy cam? Why is yours not loping? Because when I first did it, this was my daily. I leave for work at 4 a.m. I did not want that huge, loud choppiness. And it does nothing for performance. It will sound good. But the, the thump cam, the way it's already, you know, grind, I guess, grind it designed. It, you know, you don't have to add a lope tune. It just no lopes naturally. And it's going to be loud. And it's going to sound awesome. So I'm excited for that. And also, I'm also going to be going with the Edelbrock Victor 2. That is the other plan. The ported intake manifold I have now is a great manifold, but it's not as good as the Edelbrock Victor 2. The Edelbrock Victor 2, on a lot of Jay's trucks, are showing incredible results. So, with the ported in, with the Edelbrock Victor 2, ported heads, new bigger cam, the way this truck's set up, we're going to go into the 11s easy, I think. I think we can possibly get high 11.7. That is the goal is just to get is to get 11s and with the cam and the heads alone, I think we're going to do it. Come, I think it's going to be doable by March. The only problem is the Edelbrock Victor Two. I don't. I'm not going to have the money or the funds to get the Edelbrock Victor Two and installed by March. It's not going to happen. It's like a that. It's like nine hundred dollars, thousand dollars, just a couple extra things to get the Edelbrock Victor Two in and have it installed by March, which is opening season, race season. So that's going to have to come. I guess as you know, the year progresses and I can I can save up more money and stuff. The more you guys watch the videos and buy merch, the easier I can get this done and show you guys, you know, what what we can do in this truck, which is awesome and amazing and doing great things with it. But you know, we went twelve twenty six last year. A lot of guys didn't think it was possible in a four door four wheel drive ram. I had guys, so you ain't gonna get no twelve two. Look, you can get a twelve three, but I could get twelve. I could have got a twelve one, and I know it. The day I could have got a twelve one. It was running better than it did the day it did it. It was launching better and sticking better than the day it did the 12-2. It's just we were pulling timing. We had some issues because I put in different gas. And it was just not, it was, you know, shit show for gas-wise. And I think it was like, you know, we weren't getting the full power out of it. So come March, we are going to get this bitch running amazing. We're going to get this thing. Into, I think we're, my goal by March opening season, possibly opening day, is to get that 11. Get that 11-9 in a four-door, four-wheel drive truck. Now, no RAM, that, now, let me put it to you this, guys. No NA four-door RAM at all has ran 11s yet. A bunch of guys have run 11s, obviously, with, you know, boost, nitrous, whatever you want to call it. No four-door NA RAM has ran 11s. I don't even think there's one on a stroker that's ran 11s yet. And we're going to do it with four-wheel drive. So we got extra weight in the front. So, yeah, big things are coming, man. I'm excited to sh share this with you guys. To, you know, I, finally, I, I know I've been saying, hey, here's the cam I'm getting. I'm going to tell it to you. The cam is now here. I came with the, uh, the the phase limiter with this cam. It's a bigger cam. This cam, that's a cool looking bird. It's literally sitting on my truck right now. My truck, my fence. That's a really cool looking bird. Sorry guys, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the uh, it's it's. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Uh, this truck's gonna chop too. It's finally gonna have that choppy blah, 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 that a lot of guys like. I was asked, "Cool, why don't you get this? Why don't you do well?" You know, there's reasons why I didn't get the choppiness. This not being my full daily driver now. And I can thank you guys for actually this. You know what I mean? The reason I can get another daily driver is for all you guys, all my subscribers that buy the merch, watch the videos, and support this channel. You're the reason I can have that Lexus that's actually sitting right next to me. And this can, you know, this isn't a pure built race truck. But this is like, you know, more of like, you know, my toy. But yeah, when I bought it, it wasn't made to be a race truck. And yes, I, I've turned it into one and I've had a lot of fun doing it and stuff. So as the channel progresses, maybe we can build like put something else on the channel. You get rid of the Lexus, maybe put some a different vehicle, maybe a new Ram. Wouldn't that be cool? Put it, get rid of the Lexus as a daily driver and get a brand new Ram as a daily driver. Do some. I'll actually mod that and do videos with that. You know what I mean? Do cool stuff with that. Do a little mods, you know, stuff like that, or even go even deeper and get something even faster. You know what I mean? And then have this and that. Anything's possible. And I thank you guys for all that. And uh. 
yeah, so that's what it is, man. It's it's big things coming in March. Uh, you know, I got I got some videos. I got a lot of videos coming before that. It's not just all that. We got installs. We got going to fonts, doing the port of heads. I'll show you all the work, everything that's coming. Steve pulling the heads. Steve doing a new cam install because the old cam install people were. I, I still get hate because they don't think that he. I was like, I didn't show every little tiny detail of the video. I didn't show him put the uh, lube on the cam. People think you know you didn't lube the cam. You just hit it, put it, and hammered it and dry. None of that happens. So if you watch the old video, and I get guys saying that he didn't do this, and everyone that's you know had installs by Steve knows that he it just it's just funny. I don't even want to get into it, but yeah, I'll do another cam install, and I'm going to show him lube, and I'll show him lube it five friggin' different times just to prove that he lubed the damn cam because I'm tired of getting comments. So he didn't lube the cam and hammered it in. No one hammers in a cam. I mean, come on, man. I didn't show. Yeah, I could have did an eight-hour video then if I showed every little detail. You know what I mean? I turned an eight-hour job into a 10 minute video and I put too much people hated the music I won't have that now next time over it I'll put I'll do I'll do the important parts and have all the good stuff on it so you guys can see what it takes and stuff like that and uh yeah that's what it is man ported heads are coming very very soon cam is here and when we can we will get the Edelbrock Victor 2 and have this thing will be running like an absolute monster and then possibly we're gonna get some skinnies we'll get some four I want to get the Ford star D5 skinnies. I will hit up Gage Performance. I'll talk to my man Kyle. He'll give me the hookup for him. You know. But uh yeah, that's what we're gonna do, man. We're gonna get this thing running absolutely nasty and uh have a good time doing it and show you guys what this cam rank could do. Because you thought I was fast in mid running mid-12s last year. Imagine freaking elevens all year round. Alright, guys, uh that's what it is. That's the video. And uh keep watching, subscribe, comment, like, whatever you gotta do. On to the next one. Peace. <laughs>